This custom pumper was built for the Chester Basin, Nova Scotia Fire Department. It's on a 2011 uh, Spartan Furion. It's got a Cummings 380 horsepower engine, Allison 3000 EVS transmission, air conditioner, aluminum wheels. It has a uh, front suction and a, a Q2B mounted in the front bumper. There is an electric siren mounted on the left side of the uh, front bumper. The light package is a Whalen LED light package. On the body, we have a thousand gallon poly tank with dual 20 gallon foam cells. There is a Wadris 1250 uh, Imperial Gallon Per Minute pump. There is a high side compartment on the left side, intermediate compartments on the right side with a Zyco electric ladder rack that holds a 35 foot three section ladder and 14 foot uh, roof ladder. This truck is designed to meet NFPA 1901, so it has the uh, seat belt monitoring system with a vehicle data recorder uh, built in. There is seating for six firefighters with five SCBA and uh, air ride driver seat. There is a custom built console uh, between the driver and officer position that has 110 power to it to house uh, electrical uh, components like flashlights and portable radios. At the top of the pump house, there are two crosslays that are plumb for foam. There is a uh, monitor uh, connection. There are heavy shield, uh, flood and spotlights mounted to the front of the pump house. There is a full width non-slip step uh, to allow easy reloading of the crosslays. On the pump panel, there is a microphone connection and a microphone box. There is a built-in speaker. The foam system is a foam pro, foam pro 2001 system. There is a water level gauge mounted on the right hand top portion of the pump house. There is a heater uh, built in. Uh, every discharge has its own gauge and is color coded. On the middle portion there are two two and a half inch discharges. Uh, the uh, governor is a class one total pressure governor. Uh, there is six inch suctions on each side and there is a uh, front suction that is mounted uh, inside the uh, front bumper. At the bottom portion there are a, uh, there is a two and a half inch gated inlet and every drain for uh, every discharge and pump. At the rear of the uh, pumper we have a uh, Whalen beacon light at the top portion, chrome floodlights to uh, light up the uh, rear area and the uh, hose bed. There are two adjustable hose bed dividers. There is an LED traffic bar advisor underneath the hose bed. There is a two and a half inch discharge plumb for foam and a full width step to allow easy reloading of the hose bed. The uh, two six, six, six inch suction hoses are uh, stored inside of the body. There is a uh, four inch storage direct tank fill and a uh, compartment at the bottom portion. Folding steps on each side uh, storage underneath the right side fender top for two pike poles and the uh, attic ladder and the uh, rear bumper is a non-slip uh, bumper. The right side pump house has a uh, door access to access the pump and its uh, plumbing. There is a heavy shield extender light mounted to the front portion. There is a full width step in the middle to allow easy reloading of the uh, crosslays. And on the pump panel, there is a 4 inch discharge, 2 in, two and a half inch discharge, a 6 inch uh, non gated inlet, and a 2 and a half inch gated inlet, and then the drain at the bottom of the, uh, of the pump uh, panel. At the front of the uh, body, there are folding steps going up to the top portion of the body. On the right side of the body, we find the uh, Zyco electric ladder rack at the top portion. The front uh, compartment has a uh, pull-out uh, tray that is adjustable for height. There is an intermediate compartment over the rear wheels. And underneath that, there are two SCBA tubes and uh, ditch lights that are uh, tied with the reverse of the transmission. The rear compartment, there are uh, storage for three extra SCBA bottles and two adjustable shelves.